Hi, welcome to this demo of IBM Spectrum Protect Plus container backup support via an operator install for Kubernetes and OpenShift environments. Previously, the container backup support install was only supported from the command line or developer helm view. And now in version 10.19, we can utilize the Red Hat OpenShift install operator to do the installation in an OpenShift environment. This demo will go through the uninstall if you're doing an upgrade of the 10.18 BAS agent. And the BAS agent is the same as your IBM Spectrum Protect container backup support. And then we'll go through the operator assisted install of the 10.19 version. This will be in a connected environment. So we'll be pulling the packages directly down from an entitled registry. Okay, with that, let's go ahead and get started. From the Red Hat OpenShift console, if we go into the project BAS topology view, if you have a previous version installed, you'll see the BAS agent is out there and running. And if we switch over to the Helm view, you can see the 10.1.8.2 is installed. This is gonna be Helm chart version 1.2.2. So only if you have a previous version installed, we will now use the command line to do a proper uninstall and cleanup of that version before we install the new version. We're gonna switch over to the original install folder for our 10.1.8. In here, we're going to run the baz-uninstall.sh script. This will be a Helm uninstall, and it will do a cleanup and remove the images that were downloaded as part of that 10.1.8 version. So you can see it's starting to remove those images. Okay, and it's done. Okay, before taking the next step, you do want to make sure that Kafka is only being used by the Spectrum Protect Plus application. We're going to change directory up one level to the parent directory. And from here, we're going to issue a cube control space delete space dash F space CRDS forward slash. And that will delete everything that's in this folder and it will start removing all of the CRDSs from the old 10.1.8.2 install. Okay, you can see that running here. And now that that's cleaned up, we're gonna switch back to the OpenShift console. And if we look at the Helm screen, you can see that we no longer have the Baz project listed. So now we're ready to start a normal OLM-based install. I've brought up the IBM Spectrum Protect Plus documentation and we'll be following through step by step that documentation as we go through this install. Starting out in the preparing to install the container backup support operator on Red Hat OpenShift. In the before you begin section, you will want to have made sure you did the installation of your prerequisites and you've obtained access to the IBM entitled registry. We just went through the uninstalling a previous version of the container backup support. And in our environment, I've already set up the two options files, the baz-options.sh and the baz-values-cr.yaml file. If you have not set those up yet, you will need to go through and follow this detailed documentation on putting your environment's variables into those two files. I've copied those two files over to my directory here. And now we're ready to start preparing the environment for installing the container backup support operator. So the steps that we're going to complete are going to be exporting the variables in the baz options.sh file, logging into the IBM entitled registry, and then for the Red Hat OpenShift environment, we're gonna create a global pull secret we're going to create a namespace for the container backup support. We're going to create an image pull secret for the container backup support, create a general purpose secret for container backup support. And then finally, we're going to add the online catalog source to the cluster. As I go through, I will simply be copying the commands directly from this documentation and then pasting them into the command line over there. So we're first going to export the variables in the baz-options.sh file by sourcing the baz 
dash options file, all the other commands that we use will reference those variables in that file. So we're just going to copy and paste over the command and go ahead and issue that. Next, we're going to log into the IBM Entitled Registry. So once again, copy over that command and issue it. Now that that succeeded, we're going to create a global pull secret. Now in our case, we've already done this. So when it responds with no changes, that's just because it was done previously. Now we're going to create our namespace. And so we'll issue this OC create namespace baz command. Next, we're going to create the image pull secret and we'll copy over that command and issue it. And now we're going to create our general secret for the Baz container backup support. And then we're going to add the online catalog sources to our cluster. Now, a lot of customers are going to already have that set up. So you can go to the web console and add it, but you can also add it from the command line. We're going to copy the information for the web console, and then we'll switch over to the web console. We'll click the plus sign to import this YAML. Select so like Baz from the project dropdown. Now there's no namespace associated with this, so we could put it in any project. But we're basically going to take this information that we copied out of the documentation and we're going to set up the catalog source so that we can see all the IBM operators, including Baz. So go ahead and click Create. Now in our case, it's going to say that it already exists, so we are good to go. So we can verify that the catalog source has been correctly added by copying over this command and issuing it oc git catalog resources dash a there you'll see the ibm operator catalog okay what to do next now we need to install the container backup support operator in the red hat openshift web console you can also do this via the command line we're going to click through to the web console we have already done the before you begin section. Next, we're going to install the backup support operator into the Baz project namespace. And along the way, this will install the IBM-SPPC operator, the OADP operator, and the STRMZ operator. Now, when we start to deploy our operator, OLM will make sure that these dependent operators are installed. If we hadn't deleted those CRDSs from our previous 10.1.8 install, then STRMZ would fail to deploy and we would see error messages about the STRMZ subscription. Remember, STRMZ is, is the Kafka operator. Now, things won't work if our dependent operators don't get installed correctly. So if the operator doesn't come up, then the main reason why it might not is because the installation of one of the dependent operators had a problem. So we're going to go over to the OpenShift web console and in the operator hub view, we're going to search for Spectrum Protect Plus. And we want the container backup support. This is our GA version 10.1.9, and it's going to give us basic install and seamless upgrade capabilities. There's also a README where you can find more information about this deployment and some of the prerequisite details, as well as how to install the product. There's also a link which will take you to this documentation that we are working through on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and click install. Okay, so that was step five in the documentation. Now on step six, it will ask you to enter a specific namespace on the cluster. So we're gonna set the approval strategy to automatic. We are going to select from the installed namespaces BAS, B-A-A-S. And right now the only update channel you're gonna see is version 10.1.9, which is correct. So go ahead and click install. Okay, if you click on the link to view the installed operators in the namespace Baz, 
that will allow us to see how things are proceeding. What's happening is we've declared our intent to install the BAS operator and OLM is looking for our dependencies. So it sees that they're not there, so it is going to install them. This will take a couple of minutes. So we're monitoring the OpenShift workspace and you can see that it's installing our dependencies. Uh, we see the OADP operator coming into existence and eventually you'll also see the StreamZ coming into existence. So once all the operators are up and running, we'll actually be able to install an instance of Baz. So now that everything's installed and we're in a good state, we've got our three operators installed. That's the Baz operator and the two dependencies of OADP and StreamZ. We can switch back to the web console. So under installed operators, you can see the IBM Spectrum Protect Plus container backup support has been installed. If you look in the documentation, that matches step number four where we have all of the operators installed. Next, we're going to create an instance of the container backup support software by using that operator. So we'll click on that in the documentation. And then on the OpenShift console, it will have us click on the IBM Spectrum Protect Plus container backup support. So go ahead and scroll down and click Create Instance. Now you have two choices. You can either copy and paste the information out of your bas-values-cr.yaml file into the YAML editor, or you can use the form view. Um, I prefer the YAML editor because if you do make a mistake, it's easier to correct that directly in YAML, having to go through the form again. So I'm going to cat the bas-values-cr YAML file and then copy all the information that's in there. And then switching back to the OpenShift Web Console, I'll delete out what was originally in that YAML file and paste in what I just copied over from my CR file. So go ahead and click Create. And as you see in the documentation, we're just waiting for the pods for the container backup support to be deployed by the operator. So if we go to this view, here you can see the pods are coming up. It's still going to take a little longer for the agent to show up. Okay, so now these pods will show up as running and we're good to go. Um, at this point, we've completed the install. After you've completed this operator-based install, there are some post-installation tasks you need to complete. You must import the certificate for the IBM Spectrum Protect Plus server so that it can be used by your transaction manager pods. And this step was introduced in version 10.1.9 to up the level of security between the container backup support and the IBM Spectrum Protect Plus server. So do check out that documentation and follow those steps. So if we switch back over to the OpenShift web console and looked at the installed operator, we can see we've got our Spectrum Protect Plus container backup support as well as our OADP and ScrimZ installed. If we drill down into the Spectrum Protect Plus container backup support, under the subscription tab, you will first see that the channel is set to our version 10.1.9. You'll see that the approval status is set to automatic. If you click on installed, you will see the different details on our IBM Spectrum Protect Plus version 10.1.9. You can keep scrolling down and see things like the conditions. If you click on events, you will see the different streaming events out there. And if you click on IBM SPPC, you'll see our entitled registry and our instance. So everything is installed and working well. So in summary, what we did was we first uninstalled our Spectrum Protect Plus version 10.1.8, and we cleaned up from that. Then we went over and chose the option to do an online install. We set up a couple of things for the command line that got us advertised so that we could see our operator in OCP web console. And then we completed the install from the web console. 
Thank you very much.